Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm going to use this video as a demonstration of something that many of us should be considering this day and age, specifically how we look online. I know, it sounds vain, but it's really important, especially given the pandemic, where many of our interactions have been forced to be virtual. Now, up till now, whenever we've had face-to-face -face interactions, it's tends to some constant things tend to go through our heads when we're going into them. Uh, are we prepared? Or how do we look? Do we match the uh, the environment? Are we expected to be professional, formal, informal, business professional? There's a lot of different things that go through our minds. But now with everything becoming more virtual, that that consideration has started slipping away for many people. How many times have we been in a blue jeans or a Zoom meeting where somebody's wearing pajamas or Somebody is sitting right in front of a, a window. There's a lot of these different tropes out there. But one thing that many people don't consider is actually how does their webcam look? Not just how do they look, but how does their camera look? Now, here I'm going to present three different technologies, three different evolutions of the visual spectrum as far as technology is concerned. Now, I just want you to sit back and look at the differences just to see how very modest investments in the technology used for these kind of virtual interactions can dramatically improve how you look on the screen. So the first technology I'm going to present is just the embedded webcam on my laptop. The second is going to be the Logitech C920 webcam. It's touted as one of the most widely used, widely accessible webcams that many streamers, like Twitch streamers, those professional video gamers, used to make a living. They'll just purchase this one little device. Uh, and you can easily find these at any of those big box stores like uh, Home Depot or, or Best Buy for anything less than 70 bucks. Really, really simple purchase. And then the final uh, piece that I'll be presenting is the one of the highest evolutions you could do, at least at, at an enthusiast level, and that's buying a 4K camera like what's being presented right here. I'm using a Panasonic Lumix DMC G7. Now, the camera kit and everything, uh, can wi prices may uh, vary wildly, but I'm not here to try to sell that technology. That's more enthusiast level. But I want you to see the clear differences between them. And I'm going to present them on the screen side by side. Now, the common thing to think about, and many people don't know this, is that those uh, every camera that we use, the image quality is determined by the sensor size. And the sensor size is that thing behind the lens of your camera. So if you look on the back of your iPhone or your Android, you'll see that you have that little teeny camera lens. And that little camera lens is actually bigger than the sensor is, or at least it tends to be, because it's focusing light into a little pinprick of a sensor. However, the bigger that sensor is, the less it has to strive for trying to absorb light or photons and more it can just focus on just taking in the image and being more sensitive. So the, the common rule of thumb is the bigger the sensor, the better the resolution or better the, the quality. So I'm going to present these side by side. You'll see a, a good image wipe and I'll, I'll make sure that there's a label there showing each technology. And then in the final bit, I'm going to present them all side by side about the same thing. Now, as a disclaimer, I really want to present that because I wanted it to be as apples to apples comparison or same to same comparison as possible, I cropped many of the images so that the edges of the really small pinprick of a pinprick of a camera that is behind my laptop uh, will match up with that of the C920 and the Panasonic Lumix G7. So there is something to be said that the sensor size also captures more of the scene, just like a wide angle lens will be able to pick up more of a panoram panoramic shot. So please uh, just consider some of these technologies. Here's the laptop that many of us are used to. Coming up is the uh, first image of the Logitech C920. Dramatic improvement already. Then lastly, the Panasonic Lumix DMC G7. You can really, really get a good eye on some of the uh, color and resolution that pops out, specifically in the leaves and then that color card there dead, dead center. And lastly, we're going to present all of them side by side, just to see what they all look like compared to each other. If you really soak this in, you see how dramatic improvement just a small uh, investment can make.
I want to take a moment to thank you for at least considering this kind of concept as you're as you're working uh, in these virtual environments for here in the t- long time being. Thank you.